Hey folks, this is Wayne, and welcome back with part 9 of the Stock Race Challenge for the Borathi. We are in a fairly dominant position. You know, once you hit total power and tops of total power in Mu 1, you've pretty much got the game in the bag. Definitely have that uh, population planet count up there too. So the plan now is to uh, you can conclude the war with the with the brains, you know, pick their brains, <laughs> and uh, the silicoids grab some turf, and they're pretty much going to try to parlay that into a win against uh, Clack One. You know, get at least one uh, one good victory over him and his fleet before we try to cash out for the. Uh, for the council victory. Now that may not be as easy as all that because he probably still has at least one one bugged stack. Well, of course, being Clackons are all bug stacks, but, uh, but at least one 32,000 ship stack in there. We finally pulled out ahead of him too. So if that one, the bears are leading in tech, you know that the game's just about, just about uh, sewn up. So we have incoming on Talus. Right, we've got a couple ships in there. Eight Krakens are a little bit of a concern, but we've got some artillery, artillery, and some missile bases as well to to uh, carry the day. Can we tweak that? Okay, all right. Extra missile base and the ship out of there. I'm down with that. Anything else? Nope, just those two. And if I remember right, yes, that is a very very in insignificant uh, ship. So what I'm actually going to do is pretty much leave leave this planet. It's, it's almost got enough to build a shield as it is. Uh, did I dump anything in the reserve in there? So quick check and see. I did not. Okay. So about another 300. Okay. So what that should do is, yeah, that'll pay for most of the terraforming. Yeah, not quite enough for the shield, but yeah, we'll definitely get our first missile base there next turn. We're not going to need much there to keep it safe. So what I'm going to do is so we get a read on these two. No, I do want Mentar, and they are currently in no shape to do anything about it. No good missiles, no planetary shields. They did just get class six, but that's not a big deal, though. So what I'm thinking is hitting... Uh, Omicron's... Now this is one thing where you have to kind of test the probability in there. Uh, Hercules is better odds of being a better planet just because it's green than blue. And then again, I am up to toxic, so I could probably take... No, I've got radio. I can take whatever that is. Yeah, so we're just going to... Uh, how much does the nebula slow us down? Nebula will slow us down a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, ju just in the interest of saving a turn on the fleet, I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit safe there. So we'll leave two packs... A Care Bear and a Yaogwai. Actually, no, we'll keep the Yaogwai. Because, we're yeah, we do need our heavy hitters on the uh, on the Silicoids. Hmm, I guess we could just bounce over there and take Proteus. No, no, no this, is, this is better. You know, got to try to consolidate our line here with the Furious. That way I can rally stuff there and have it join in. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave a couple of Bear Tillery behind. And that should be more than enough. That's basically like, you know, seven missile bases worth of ships that we're, uh, we're leaving behind. Uh, oh, that's right, we're leaving that there for, for defense. Okay, how are we looking? So we're stockpiling production to put into our next battleships. Any of those coming along well? No. We're furious. Got hit by a hit by mineral pour event. Okay. Uh, I think with that, we'll be... I think with that, we're good then. Uh, we may. I. I don't think we're gonna need to get Orion this playthrough. If uh, things had gone south and Clackwan had declared war on us earlier, we probably would have had to go that route. Likewise, if the Cylons had had a better tech draw, you know, that could have been a, a big threat. But as it is, you know, as it is, I think we're gonna be fine without it. Now, if things do go south and they can, then we'll keep that in our in our pocket. But I don't think so. Okay. Well, with no further ado. I'll just drag that out a little bit. <laughs> no further goodbye in French. <laughs> oh, what's going on over this way anyway? Uh, doo -doo -doo. No, okay, not, not a big deal. Not a big deal of the stuff we've left behind. Oh, they're about to go take out um, that little Mershon colony over there. 
poor kitty cats. Okay. So we've got that. That pretty much right on time for two turns. Okay, tachyon beams. Yeah. 15. Tachyon beams are very space efficient. They have a little bit of a power draw. You can see that um, they left retro engines on, on this thing just to help pay for that. But, uh, but yeah, they work out pretty well. We're just going to go ahead and auto that. Okay, here we go. So these are the repulsor beam ships, as I recall. Yep, we do not want to let them get close. Uh, now, scatter pack sevens are Merculite missiles. Those have a speed of three. They're the first times, as we saw against the Mershon, they're the first times missiles start being a threat. Uh, they can outrun them. So they're probably going to the first volley. So what I'm going to do is one, two, three. I'm going to send my missile boats actually over this way. And... Um, hmm. No, I think it's better without any Megabolt cannons. I think it's better to focus on them first. And these things have, yeah, they have a Megabolt cannon of their own. And yeah, and because scatter packs are so strong, you know, damage 10, even with shield of 5, that's a, um, it's a, yeah, much better than using my own uh, stingers. Okay. Those have repulsor beams, so we're going to send this guy up and get by go after this colony ships. Interestingly, only move back one. That is really interesting. One, two, three, one. Let's see. Got to do. One. Let me make sure I'm counting those right. So one. Yeah, if I move forward, I think that would be three. So we'll do that. Oh, okay. Well. That did not quite go as uh, go as planned. What's the speed on these bad boys? Two, and they have heavy fusion beams. One, two. Okay, so back here they are safe. So what I'm actually going to do is because I have the the beam, we'll fire from there and then move back. And that being, and we'll keep the missiles going one more turn. Lose one, not a big deal. Okay. Those things are too close to retreat, so I'm going to go ahead and fire the scatter packs at them. And actually just, eh, just go ahead and hit done. They're not going to destroy one. We'll finish them off. Yep. <laughs> okay, we took out two of them already. One, two, three. Space one. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do, fire from there and back. Okay, so he will be able to dodge that one stack. That's fine. Uh, one, two, one, two. Hmm. We'll go ahead and get them a little... Okay, so that was that was out of range of both of them. Okay, good to know. All right. One, two. Okay. Oh, not quite. Not... Oh, are we out? Is that why? We're out. That's why. Okay. <laughs> Well, solve that. Solve that problem. Okay. Oh, I would have hoped it would have gotten a uh, got a shot off. Let's see, those are flying in towards that. There we go. Now let's see what they'll do. Mega bolts. See, the planet has shield fifteen, so heavy fusion beams are screened out. That means they're going to retreat. Actually, that means everything is screened out. So we'll just go ahead and spread out the missiles. Oh, didn't quite do enough to finish off another one. Oh. <laughs> Worth a try, though. Okay. Crystalon filled up. Excellent. Excellent. Happy about that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Zudax. A little on that shield. Or those missile bases. Okay. Ooh, Delphi. Everybody's coming to town. Uh. Uh, once again, the fleets are overlapping, so I can't see what they're sending at me. I'm going to guess probably more more Novas. Okay, Novas are not a problem because they're too slow. Um, is this Artifacts and poor to not have its shield up? Oh, no, it's because I have a class... Yeah, see, it has its class 5 shield up, but it doesn't have its class 10 yet, so that'll be next turn. So we're going to transfer another 400 in there. That's why it's so important to have a little bit on your 
on your uh, reserve to make sure you can you can do stuff like that. Okay, everybody's gathered there. I think everybody's still banking production for my upgrade. Okay. Nice to jump two turns on there. Do we have a maturing trade deal? Is that why that jumped? Oh, yeah, we do. Sweet. Okay. Um, so everybody's got on the rhinos. It's good. Okay. Is that what we're waiting on? No. Oh, I think what, yeah, I think what we were doing is we're waiting on a uh, waiting on some miniaturization to do Hellfire, like probably Hellfire Destroyers to go after the Guardian. I think we'll need to do that now, though. That being said, a, a nice big uh, weapon tech. In, well, that won't actually be a big weapon tech increase because uh, Hellfires are higher level than Hercules. So actually, I don't really have much I need to. Yeah, I guess what we'll start doing. So let's let that go into the light bulb. Okay. And. Oh, right. High energy focus was. Yeah, high energy focus is what we were paying for. So, yeah, after high energy focus comes in. Uh, I'll wait on Antrium because we'll probably be able to loot it. I'm fairly sure we'll be able to loot it, right? Yes. So we'll probably be able to loot that. And then, uh, oh, actually, we can combine our with our powers combined. If we loot both of them, we'll get uh, High Energy Focus, Andrium, Plasma Cannon, and Battleships. And that will be what we'll take out the take out the Clackons with. All right. I'm getting eager to do this now. So <laughs> let's uh, take one off. The den, slow that down a little bit. And Talus was definitely pulling its weight and then some. Uh, so let's put it back on back on uh, Rhino. Two bases, good. Um, yeah, that's fine. And, yeah, we will relocate as well. Sweet. Yeah, hopefully I'll have that done by the time the nine turns roll, rolls around. Okay, nothing fancy going on here, right? Do the silicoids come up with anything new? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we might be able to loot that from them, actually. Advanced, e what? How are they getting? There might have been, like, there is a bug with the silicoid tech tree. There are a bunch of techs that aren't supposed to show up on there, but they do anyway. Um, okay. Let's see. Those are no problem. Do they have mega, do they have repulsors? They do not. Okay, so yeah, they are no threat. Look at that, 375 hit points on one cruiser. That's why armor increases are so useful. And the planet has shield five. They have not yet gotten a planetary shield. So what we're gonna do is just, we have our bear tillery shell the, uh, shell the planet. Okay. Um, planets are basically scatter pack immune. So I'll just fire those at them. And as always, wait for the missile barrage. Okay. There, yep. Yeah. I think, yeah, once again, they're not going after my bombers because I guess they're just so hard to hit. Um, let's see. Can it destroy a new? No, will not be able to destroy a bear artillery. So we'll just move those in a little bit closer. You know, actually, why not, right? Get a little, get a little damage on there. Okay, now I'm pretty sure those stacks of missiles are going to be enough to do the job. Uh, Let's see, two, four. Nice. <laughs> and see ya. Oh geez, yeah, that is that is totally dead. That is, that is super that is super dead. I did not realize. I should have mathed that out. I forgot that I have like twice as many artillerys as I did against the Cylons. Oh my goodness gracious. No! Oh, okay. Uh, and it didn't retreat far enough either. There's like there was like nothing left. Okay, oh actually there was plenty left. Okay. I forget fusion bombs aren't aren't huge overkill. I I'd love to know how that formula works on how like how much damage it is to overkill each point of population. Because yeah, I said I want to maximize the factories I have intact. Um that being said, if I do get this one. Uh, I can well. I, I just I just beat them, so I'll be able to scan that. So let's go ahead and unlock what's here, so I can send uh, people there immediately. Hercules, that wow, we had like a one percent chance, right? Sweet. Yeah. So the the high end missiles, like uh, Hellfires, aren't listed, but they get a plus six. The high end missiles and torpedoes are so accurate 
that uh, you can really just cram them on smaller smaller ships and save a little cost on uh, their own battle computers. Now granted, now remember, that doesn't apply to ship initiative. So you must, ooh. Now I think we've got enough scatter packs. Petroniums, pulse phasers. Man, this is, it's like we're, we're recording this, you know, in uh, uh, early, you know, basically first of December, and I already feel like Christmas with, with this stuff. So we have the ultimate bomb, the ultimate missile. Um, we have arguably the ultimate uh, repeater, the ultimate Gatling gun. Uh, the people argue that the Gauss autocannon is better because it does about the same damage and has shields and does four shots. Um, but against uh, when you're trying to sweep weaker fighters, you actually want the higher damage because you take they don't because they don't have shields anyway, but they might but they might have armor. Um, so definitely be able to loot all this stuff. Uh, I don't think. Hmm. You know, I think we are going to get that just because we may need it to take out. No, we won't. The Cylons aren't going to get, the, the Clackons aren't going to get to class 20 shields anytime soon. I'm going to knock out Omega 5s and then probably grab Pulse Phasers, is what, is what I'm thinking. The Trodium Bombs are amazing, but they're just overkill. Okay. So, since this is an Artifacts planet, I want to spend as little time away from Artifacts as possible. That looks good. Okay, so we'll do just enough for it to get another batch of missile bases. I'm probably going to dump, dump credits for, just a few credits for this time, for to get a, get a couple factories and then put everything else into back into research. Okay, good. Um, is your artifacts planet coming up? I'll do the research there. Oh yeah, plus the, plus the ones paying off their shields will be able to research more too. So we're going to get a nice big chunk of, uh, of RP anyway. Yep, about another 300 points over last time. Uh, so we'll do that. Oh, that's right. We have to leave something on a favored project. How about, sure, that looks good to me. Um, so we'll skimp on weapons for just a little bit. Then as soon as high energy focus gets done, we'll, we'll probably split, split between these two. So do the one third there. Okay. Happy with that. F8. Everybody wants a party at Mu Delphi, and why not? Uh, Krakens and Makos are there in one turn. Well, seven bases plus some bear artilleries and stuff I think will be fine. As a matter of fact, they're probably just going to try to rush in to kill those packs and then run away. Uh, because they, yeah, the AI just, um, when they launched them, we probably didn't have anything there. And of course the AI is omniscient. But uh, thanks to dumping from the reserve, which we still have, which we're still building, building up to each turn, um, we just were able to rush out the shield and bases really quickly. Okay, those are still overlaying. Yeah, I, I don't think the... Well, the Cylons, the, the Cylon fleet is building up. Clackon's fleet is really pulling ahead. I wonder what they've got. Not that. <laughs> that one that one fighter is the source of all their might. Oh, is it in the, the silly Star Trek Expanded Universe of the Sun Crusher? Tiny little ship that can blow up, um, blow up stars. Uh, okay, we're getting there. Cool. Um, Rashawn, I think we've got the best deal we can with them. I feel silly for never having upped the trade deal with Clack One, but I don't want to remind him we exist. That is what's going to trigger him to flip out at us. So peaceful with the Akari. How about uh, can we get up to like a thousand BC with them? No. Well, no. Okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, because the, we have good trade bait planetology. So even though it wasn't part of the challenge, we I, I have insisted on acquiring every single weapon anyway. <laughs> so the 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 uh, strategy with upgrading the the trade deals when you have enough is that because of the because it resets you to like the minus. 25% um, maturation, but you keep what you already have. Uh, you basically want enough there to make it make it worthwhile to take the hit before you build it back up. Um, I, I don't really I don't always subscribe to that. You know, I usually take a better deal when I've got one if I'm expecting a long term piece. But remember, we're expecting to beat the game, but beat this game before too long. So uh, that's what I'm thinking. And I almost clicked end turn without actually sending my sending some bears over. Uh, population 85. We're just going to go ahead and send. 
everybody in. That's one turn, right? Two turns. Well, that sucks. Um, that being the case, now yeah, we'll send it from a poor planet. That's, that's, that's the best move. Then we'll send two from here. I'll go ahead and do... I'm not expecting very many losses at all thanks to that new fusion rifle. So that'll be about... That'll be the max right there. It'll be, more, it'll be past the growth point anyway. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll send... Well, was it like 10 from... You know, send about half of them from back from the sands. Let them regrow. Let that regrow. And then we'll do... Um, maybe just one turn, right? So about 20 from there. And then... Actually, we'll send about, because we're sending like 60 from that one, right? So we'll send 30 to there. And then where's uh, the deep? Where's our ultra poor? Then we'll restock score with uh, about 20. I did send score on Zudax, right? Aha, glad I checked. Yeah. So yeah, let me double check. We're sending 65. Restock with 40. And then we're restocking them with about 25. There we go. That should about that should about sync up with the regrowth with how many turns it takes. And boom, and a little extra. Okay. Alright, so we'll take Hercules in two turns. We will that should secure the rest of the silicoid techs with that many factories. Um, we will not need to get Omicron at that point, and I probably will anyway, just to secure the, just to secure the supply lines. But oh well, whatever the Mershon had, they got it's bombed out now. Um, then we'll grab Mentar, and then that'll probably be enough for me to make peace with the, with the Cylons. I think one good planet. We've we've been playing, you know, got to catch them all with the AI homeworlds. So yeah, if I get if I get what I want, robotics, Andrium, plasma, then I'll just call it there with the with the Cylons. That'll, that'll be more than enough for us to build up against the Clackons and then, you know, call it a run after that. Okay. Silicoids attack. Huh, when Silicoids attack. Oh, we only got six instead of... The mass should have been seven missile bases. Oh, that's fine. That's still more than enough. Um, so we know they're going to go one, two, three, and so we'll just... Actually, we'll move two up. Shoot. That, since, since they can retreat from it, they're going to, unfortunately. Um, but we'll just go and keep the uh, pressure on. And these guys move. Yeah, these guys move two, have one space weapons. They're going to retreat from that. There's, they're, they're bo They can both retreat, so I don't want those. I, they do so little damage, though. Why not, right? They do so little damage. There's no point in just not throwing a little extra in there. Now this... There we go. Can't can't get away from that. And then let's see. They have how many megabolt cannons? It was five, right? Yeah. So they will not be able to destroy a Care Bear. So we'll just um, fire that off and uh, let them shoot. Okay. That's actually a little bit more than I was expecting, but that's fine. Okay. And keep that keep that artillery flowing. Okay. We'll probably go ahead and retreat it uh, after that. Uh, you know, I think the pack... No, because they have so much HP. I'm going to throw one of those in there. Alright. So, one, two, three. Actually, so we'll, we'll shoot and then pull it all the way back. Okay. One, two. There we go. Save a Care Bear. Oh, darn, it's heavy fusion. Uh, should I retreat after this one? You know, I think what I will do... I think what I will do is one, two... One, two... Fire. Retreat. Okay, perfect. Move it there, and then move it there. That way, the... Well, oh. <laughs> uh, this is... Yeah, but I feel like uh, was in Cardoana, the guy that just lost the big World Chess Championship. I feel like him. It's like a speed chess round. You start to, just start misplaying. Okay, well, it still worked out. <laughs> uh, oh, that thing's almost dead. So, oh, but but we're out. 
<laughs> okay, enough of that. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna let we're just gonna done through this one. Don't want to have them accidentally blow up the planet again. That's another good. That's another good success. You guys are getting a raise. Um, let's see. I try to think of a good, good honey pun for uh, you know getting you know no, but I can't. I no, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> there it is. Yep, high, we know we know high energy focus is there because it is the only option in the the level thirty five uh, tree. So you you're guaranteed to get it. Okay, Shinga's got its factories. Oh, so do the. Okay, let's keep it clean. Keep it clean, come out boxing, and do about four ticks in there. Very nice. There, there is pretty much no chance our backline planets are going to be threatened unless, like, somebody, something happens. The Alkari just happened to ally with somebody who declares war on us in the same turn. A very Oh, there it is. Okay. I was wondering where their, where their fleet was. Uh, the good news is that as long as their bugged ships are fighter size, and it probably will be until like turn 2600 or so, um, I will be able to beat them with repulsor beam uh, ships. So I'll make sure to put a repulsor beam on my battleship. And then there's literally nothing they can do to, to get in. The, uh, the, the game, like the size mechanics for heavy weapons, are, uh, are kind of designed to make sure your smaller ships can never really use them. Uh, Krakens and Makos, that's fine. Um, the important thing is most of my fleet survived, so uh, so we're good there. Um, you know, I wonder if I can make... Do I want to make peace... We, yeah, we'll, we'll see about making peace with the Silicoids in the next turn. Uh, so what that means is I'm going to throw one more round of credits at Mudelphi, since we've, since we've got them. So that's another 400. And let's see, seven missile bases, plenty of people. Good, good. Um, well, yeah, we want to keep that seven. Okay, that should be good. Plenty of factories for them, too. Yeah. Yep. And no no hurry on putting that over on research. Uh, Plantology is still good. Propulsion. Yeah, we want to keep the propulsion. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, okay. Looks good. Okay, Fury is about to be restocked. Still nothing, nothing new there. Um, I forgot that high energy focus is so many turns out. So what I may do is what I may do is cash this in for a Yagwai. That's true. Yeah, I probably wouldn't hurt to to get a um, get a, get a star base, a stargate on my shipyard. They're probably a Stargate at... Um, yeah, you know, the score would be a good one, actually. You know, whether I'm... Whoever I'm going after, that's pretty much the perfect location for it. So let's uh, go ahead and do that, too. And we will... Yeah, there's no hurry on that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, like I said, we'll see about getting peace with the Silicoids after uh, after this one. All right. Oh, this is pretty much no no threat at all. So we will do two, shoot, two, three. Okay. Keep that coming. And let well, us go ahead and guard them. So we just want to make sure we're out of range. Three. Yeah. So this far and no further. Okay. That should be more than enough to finish that one off. So we'll throw some of those guys. Okay. Hmm, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just keep, keep, keep up the wall of missiles. Why not? Oh, actually got it. Got it. Barely survived and got a shot off, but that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, we just want to make sure it doesn't get into into uh, megabolt range. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it does could try to close into megabolt range, we should get a we should get the first shot shot on them. Okay. 
one thing you can count on, of course, is that if they have to fly through missiles to get to you, you'll you'll do damage to them before they move, as they move in. Okay, what are we looking at here? Uh, Mega bolts. So basically, just a repulsor beam version of that battleship they already had, along with a couple of missiles. I love the nuclear missiles on that one. <laughs> it's like I guess that's the only thing they had room for. Um. So we're definitely going to want to get the Yaogwai in play. We're going to wait and see if they're even going to stick around. No. Okay. I didn't think so with five battleships on uh, Team Bear, but you, uh, you never know. Okay. So we do have the Andrium, but I think we're going to be fine. Oh my gosh, look how like a horrible that is. They're still using their, you know laser pistols, and then here we are with, you know, cutting them down with, like, fallout plasma cannons and stuff. <laughs> Tech 4, sweet. Eco, okay, okay. Andrium, all right. Perfect, that's really good. Um, Tritanium is the next upgrade after Andrium. Uh, I think the, I don't know if anybody has 20% yet, but we've got 40 and we just got an, an eco increase. So that's kind of pointless. And we just got tech four. So that's kind of pointless. So we're just going to split the difference and just do tritanium. Okay. You know, we'll go and do two ticks on bases because uh, Furious is poor. Then it's, then it's, uh, restock is... Huh. Didn't get the full... Didn't get the full reason. Oh, right. Because I, I keep forgetting about that. And plus, I bet when... Uh, I bet the, the tech I got kicked in before the population did. So the minimal spending turned off some of my uh, eco spending. So... Let's go ahead and toss in about, about 15, right? Yeah, because they'll take them to around 130 and they'll regrow from there. Okay. Whoa, all right, all right. That's a big jump in. Normally, this is where I would start go tweaking sliders, but I can't really be bothered. You know, we're doing pretty well. Mershon, what are you doing? What? Hard beams, they can't, they can't even hurt me. I don't even... I, I don't, I don't... There are, there are no words. Okay. Well, just got a couple more missile bases, you know. There's still one of those ships, probably the colony ships, or the war can't still have retro engines even. Actually, they never got an engine increase. Uh, well, well, at the, uh, you know, this, this is basically the equivalent of, of your cat kind of scratching at your uh, at your bed. You know, it wants in, and um, you, you kind of let it do its thing. All right, so we'll have to split the fleet again while we do this one. Now, I'm glad that uh, that Mu Delphi, our, our artifacts planet, reminded me that we have class 10 shields to pay for uh, because that means we won't have the... Um, it'll take longer to get the defenses going than, than what I thought. So we are, we are going to leave a Yagwai this time. Uh, did I think we get out, got everything we need from the silicoids? We did. Okay. In that case, what I'm actually going to do is try to try to broker peace with them, and that way their ships will just turn away on their own. And uh, is, I believe they are still at war with yeah, the other Cylons, so they should love us after we take Mentar. And because we can reach Mentar with the main fleet now, right? Okay, good. Yep, then we'll try that. Yes, very revered. Excellent. Okay. Uh, we'll give you a little... They, they have Andrium. We'll give you a construction level increase. And how about that? Perfect. Yep, I had a feeling that they actually like us quite a bit because of all the damage we've been doing to their enemies. So, so in that case, we can basically just leave the planet alone. Uh, what I'm going to do is, yeah, we'll do enough for atmospheric to raise that. So I'll get that shield going ASAP because it is kind of a sitting duck. And atmospheric, let's see, what is the kind of silicoid tech? I think they've got plus 30 population, so probably a 55. So 50 or 50, yeah, probably 45, 55 planet. Should get another 20 people. It's got 20 now. So we're just going to we're going to go and send like 25. And that means we'll do some from 
I think Sans didn't send anybody out, did it? Not really. So we'll do another another 10 from, from uh, the Sands and have it regrow too. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. That should get ever that should get it back to full. Actually, that's back to full pretty much right there. So so we'll just do that. Okay. Sweet. 4,000 RP. Gotta love it. We can ignore the silicoids. Um, Rashawn, cat scratch fever. Uh, yep, not, not a threat. Okay, so with that, yeah, they're, they've got nothing, and I don't think that's changed. Nope. Okay. The best part is about getting those texts from the silicoids. Uh, we've actually narrowed down the pool of stuff we can draw from Mentar. So, oh, we didn't have 40 yet, but we're, we're about to get it. Uh, we should get all six, all four of those and be able to make peace as well. Oh, geez. Did you catch that? That's where things could really go south. So we will... Um, break alliance. Hmm. That is actually most of our reserve. And they're really no threat to us offensively. But... It would take time to repair that relationship, and I kind of want to just cash out with a council win after we prove we can beat uh, Clack Wan. So we'll go ahead and take it. <laughs> we agree, the silence are no longer trustworthy. Uh, we'll bump that up a bit. That's a 50% increase on the trade deal. Yeah, I think that's worthwhile. And just make sure they didn't put anything into poor spending. Yeah, you can see we lost like a plus one on some of that stuff. Oh, that wiped out most of our trade uh, our, our trade surplus. We went from like 500. Oh, but we just made two trade deals is what happened. That's why. Yeah, so the, so the silicoid deal has to mature as well. Uh, but it will in time. So we will take all the bugbears along. We will leave two bear tillery. A care, no, we'll take, we'll take the bear tillery and leave pretty much all the packs. Um. Because they pretty much because they can't actually hurt Cylon missile bases. Um, we do want the bugbears, okay? Hmm. No. Yeah, we'll just leave, we'll just leave all of them. We'll just leave all of them. They're they're good defense. They're good uh, defensively. Now, nine hundred small small craft. What could the Cylons fit on a fighter? And the answer, <laughs> like, like the clickbait to uh, the clickbait things online. The answer could surprise you. Um. If they can fit mass drivers on a fighter, that's actually a problem. But I, they, they probably have tachyon beams on them, and that's bad. But uh, but not but not that bad. And plus, they have nine hundred, and we are sending. They have nine hundred, and we're sending nine bear artillery, and that is. Uh, that is uh, nine nine six scatter packs. Each one of those is going to be a kill, probably. Probably is only attack level six. Well, attack level eight. You know, when you factor in the plus two from a from a Merculi missile. Um, yeah, I'm pretty confident about the artillery. I'll just have to have the have to have my bugbears and the Alguai do the heavy lifting on bombing Mentar itself. Okay. Yeah, we'll 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 set the Mershon attack, and we will have these guys join in there. Okay. Yeah, it looks good to me. <laughs> Research on a mineral-rich planet. What are you talking about? Uh, actually, how is the den looking? Hmm. Yeah, if I don't... Yeah, I'm not going to get high energy focus in time. So we'll just go ahead and have it build its uh, Stargate as well. Okay. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. pretty good time. Then finish Stargate in one turn. Excellent. So let's put it back on a Rhino. All right. So the big benefit there is let's go ahead and uh, route that to the score. Relocate there. And so instead of taking two turns or whatever, it'll just instantly transfer if you route a planet from a Stargate to a Stargate. And that means we'll do the same thing with uh, with Talus. Well, well, you can't relocate the Stargate itself. Um, but, uh, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we, we could, we could have taken Omicron just sent, you know, 
some bears there, but I think we'll be fine. How's this looking? Okay. Yeah, they're, they are mass producing those, uh, those fighters, but I think we're going to be all right. Oh, and they just sent some of their fleet out. Uh, the Star Blazers are actually older than the Novas, and what's crippling them is they haven't put any good engines on their ships. So even though they theoretically, like uh, 9 times 20 tachyon beams is actually quite dangerous if they get a chance to fire, uh, we can kite them with our superior maneuverability and long-range stuff on the Algwise. So I, th I don't think this is, I don't think even this, even if this had been at Mentar, I don't think it would have been a threat, except it would have made me have to maneuver my bombers more to make sure they couldn't tear them up with those tachyon beams. But, you know, I, I don't think it would have actually changed that much. And uh, you can see, too, that we've, we've already doubled our trade our trade benefit. We have two maturing trade deals that are for quite a bit, so each percentage increase is pretty good. Uh, we did blow through most of our reserve, though. Circulus coming along, so going to shield. Industry maxing out already. Very nice. Uh, okay, we got population about to arrive. How many? I sent 20, right? I sent 20, 83. Actually, plus 10 is about right. We'll, we'll put a couple of those into factories, though. Looks good. And uh, like, I, like I keep saying, reserve is meant to be spent. So, yeah, we'll do that. Cool. All right. Battle for Mentar. Let's do it. Oh, look at the Alkari. They're sending a big fleet, uh, big fleet there. Okay, 47 missile bases. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Um... <laughs> they're bombers. All that, all that worry in there. They're freaking bombers. Now, okay, and the Speed 1 bombers, it's like, well, they could. I was starting to say they could have been a threat to our planets if they, if they counterattack us, but no. And now our, uh, the scatter pack bases would have demolished those bombers. They have, they have impulse drives too. I just I just don't get it. It's like the you know, the AI has been surprising me in in good way, well bad slash good ways. You know bad way the ways that could have been bad theoretically um, with with intelligent you know, decisions and everything, um, but it didn't end up mattering much. But this this is this is stupid. Okay. Anyway, so class five shields, lots of HP, uh, the tachyon beams. We'll have to be yeah. We'll 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 have to have the Yagwai take care of them. Uh, actually, no, because they move first because of that strong battle computer. Oh, and they have battle scanner too, so they have they have they have initiative ten. So what we're going to do is planet is still planet does not have shields. They have hyper tens. Um, I'm going to two three. All right. Um, we're going to Yagwai can handle those no problem. So yeah, we'll just focus on the planet. Mm, that, that'll make them withdraw. That, that's fine. We'll wait, see if they go after our bombers. Okay, they're going after the Care Bears. Care Bears are speed three. That should be enough to outrun Hyper 10, uh, Hyper 10 missiles. Okay, so we'll send those through there. Okay. Um, the, the, again, speed one. So as long as we kind of keep them at arm's length, we should be should be completely fine. Uh, but that being said, like I said, we're going to let the Yagwai take care of them. So, all right, cool. Uh, now they're going to go after our, our bombers. Um, one, so we want to make sure they're on the southern side of the planet. Okay, not bad, not bad. It was nine bases. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do with this? I think what I'm, I think I'll start to get some, start to get a good angle on them, and then uh, then retreat. Okay, uh, I think I did eight. I think I killed eight bases with with these guys. So we'll go ahead and fire fire one more time. Two could do that. Promising. Okay, we should be able to finish the deal from there. So. Okay, there we go. perfect. Just enough damage. Oh, beautiful. Well, we somehow still destroyed 60 factories, even by pretty much killing them on the dot. So some damage spills over, I guess. Uh, let's see. This is a uh, Dark Star. No, I, I did. Uh, the, I thought they, they. I thought they cut a little too much off on the the radio edit on uh, Dark Star. Got to listen to the original. Uh, all right. 
So I'll get its missile base going, get an industry industry built, and then uh, I think we'll be good there. Actually, depending on how much industry needs built. Okay, we are manning four factories, so it's almost full. So we're not going to send too many people from there. Uh, what the, what they think that what that means is it's time to send from Furious again. So once again, empty the empty the planet. <laughs> Who else can get there in three? Probably the score. Three, perfect. Uh, so we're sending sixty. We'll send another. Yeah, one third. Yeah, that one that won't even fill up the planet. So we'll we'll go ahead and stop there, and maybe refill, and send from send from these down here. So probably like about yeah twelve. Actually, that's just about that's just about perfect. I like that. So about twelve to fifteen from from each one of these. Okay. Send a little bit more, and actually, we can send a couple from our production centers because they'll also be able to clone them back the fastest. All right. Yeah, I think that'll do. I'll put an eco back on, spend a little. And who's going to refill Furious? Probably do a little bit from... Yeah, looks good. Zudex, yeah, the usual. Yeah, we'll just see what, pretty much what we did last time. All right. And from there, a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. I'm, I am happy with that. And of course, we don't want to send anybody from Talos, and it's about to build its Stargate anyway. Make sure that nobody's close to actually finishing up a Rhino. I haven't checked that in a while. Like, I didn't think so, but... Sweet. The Moodelphi should have more than enough going on there. So we'll let it build... You know, 21 bases is, is pretty much... Pretty much great. Uh, so we'll send... One there, and we'll send two bear artillery. Actually, we'll send three because we have so many bases already on uh, Mudelphi. Okay. Yeah, I don't expect the, the Cylons to attack a Hercules, but it is the more vulnerable one. Oh, it's got it's got its own bear artillery coming in, so that is great. All right, I'm happy with that. So let's see what the big buildup was with the Alkari. Where are they all? Okay, they're coming. They're meeting up here. Interesting. So the Alkari got to have a little bit of a fleet coming in. Kind of wonder what's on those uh, bad boys. And they're, they're attacking. So they're trying to, probably trying to colonize that uh, Mershon planet. I think it was this one. It must have been one of these two. And Cylons are hitting there. I can't imagine they'd win, but but we will see. Yep, another. Another almost doubling of the trade. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we get from uh, from Mentar. Okay, Cylons. Oh, geez. How do they sneak these guys in here? Uh, well, like I said, speed one. We'll just go ahead and cut them to ribbons with the missile bases. Uh, hmm. Okay. All right. I think I know what to do. Send those all the way in. As far as they can't even, so they can't even run. They'll only die. Uh, what's the ship? What's the spaceship version of you'll only die tired? You'll only die with empty, empty fuel cells. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just as long as we're one away, we are we are more than good to go. That's going to destroy them utterly. So we'll just start doing that. And what's the shields in these things? They have, they had five, right? Five. Yeah. So we can't hurt them with those. Okay. Well, why not? Why not uh, finish off that little bit? Oh, not quite, not quite. Okay, two. Oh, even better. <laughs> That's actually a lot of damage on a colony ship. What do they have on there? Uh, six tachyon beams. Yeah, tachyon and tachyon beams are uh, are no joke. Two. Okay. All right. So then. Pull them back. Nice. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, that was actually yeah, kind of, kind of close. I forget. Did I put uh, auto repairs on them? I did not. Okay. So it was just they're just me getting a, being a little lucky with how much HP I had left over. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Thought so. Okay. And <laughs> and more bombers. They're gonna run by the time we could even get to them. So I just uh, done through this one. And now for you. Okay. What are we looking at? Hard beams and merculites. Yep. I mean, look at this. The colony ship has a heavy laser on there. That's still like the best they could do. And you can see from where it's at in the stack that the AI generated this one after these. Um, I just I just don't even know what to say. It's just so sad. Um, yeah, might as well. We do more damage. They would get less out of scrapping the... Uh, well, they're less like no, who, well, who even cares? Who even cares? Just roll 1d4. <laughs> oh, I just hit R to retreat. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. So, do get enough to get uh, two per turn until I'm comfortable until I can stand up on its own two feet then we'll do that all right excellent work scrolled right past it as I am want as I am want to do twice there we go <laughs> okay very cool reserve good actually I think we could probably put one more in the reserve, it probably it probably scrolled one off. Which is Stargate. Okay. Well, how are we coming along on? Yeah, we're get getting there, getting there. The high energy focus is we've got about uh, one quarter of our. So we've got probably about you know 900, 800, 900 going in there, and it's a thirty thousand point project. So you know you can you can do the math on that one. I still don't know what you were thinking. All right, so I'm going to get Mentar in two. And we'll send a couple Bertillery to join the main the main team. All right. Now, what I could do is, is if they had a lot of tech to take, like if they were way ahead of me, I could actually send my fleet on to another planet and try to invade that as well. But I'm going to try to cash out and get peace after Mentar. Yep, yeah, there were... Grouping a lot of those retro engine bombers at their home world. Hmm. The only problem is, is that he is our diplomatic rival. So there's, there's no way to get in. Unfortunately, there's actually no way to get an ending where everybody worships you. You know, you'll always have somebody who votes for themselves. So, you know, no point in uh, doing that. But it, it's a good sign that we've been, you know, at peace with them for so long. Um, okay, anything else going on? Nope. For the first time in a while, we are not under attack anywhere. Right, let's just do, do that. Okay. And then start with that. So we're about to get another shot in the arm, research-wise. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll, yeah, we'll probably start now. We have to, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, because we have to keep the, the one-third into... Now, advanced soil enrichment is going to be such a population explosion that... Okay, I was about to say, what are you trying to do? You better not You better not be trying to go after Mentar. It's going to be such a population explosion. We may well be into... Um, yeah, we may well go into being able to win the vote ourselves uh, with that. And we do have a council vote coming up. You know, since we've taken take, gotten ahead of the Clackons in total power, and we're coming up on an hour... You know, um... Hmm. Oh, no, we, we've already had a situation where we could have taken the win last time. And I do want to take on the, take on Klaquan's uh, fleet at least once. So where is it anyway? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll, we'll grab, let's grab Mentar first. One thing at a time. Okay. Oh, they put a missile base up. Uh, we'll go ahead and let the Yagwai handle that. Um, because thanks to automated repair, there's absolutely nothing they can do to us. So we'll just, you know, 
Tap done's everything else. Okay. Yep, that's kind of what I figured. I would have said everything else retreat, actually. I don't even care. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now that was even nicer than to rebuild some factories for us. So yeah, we, we are ahead on rifles. We're ahead on absorption. We're ahead on um, you know armor tech, and we are giant bears. So <laughs> the victory was never really in doubt on on this one. Man, we hardly take any losses. That's amazing. All right, give it all. Want it all? Plasma. Okay. Class six. All right. Reduce waste, okay. Um, no, actually. Uh, no. We've had, no, we've had two turns of, of cloning, so I think it's safe to do that. Yes, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah. Yep, one at all. Okay, Hercules, but, but no, actually. Score finish at Stargate, all right. Put it back on a Rhino. Now, as the factory, is, as, as this round of industrialization gets done, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to like manually switch back on bases and everything, but you know, that's not a big deal. Okay. We got everything, right? Yes, we did. Okay. Let's cash out and make peace with them too. First greedy peace. <laughs> yes. A generous gift of... Wait, we gave them Hyper 10s. Their best missile tech was a gift from us. How bad was their uh, their tech tree draw? As the Cylons, even. Well, let's do a... Oh, they have, like, nothing left on their economy, either. Man. Yeah, what do the Cylons have left? Almost no planets. Oh, yeah, those two were the only ones they had left. Yeah, the Clackons kind of grabbed all that stuff while they were fighting us. But yeah, this is a great example of how the the vicissitudes of the of the RNG affect their tech tree. They got some great offensive weapons, uh, and they had okay. They didn't have impulse, but they had sublight. They had the stuff. They had the the, the secret ingredients uh, to put up a decent uh, challenge, but they didn't. And you know, some that's just how that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, anyway, we'll pull them off. Pull them off. I think we're done with them. Oh, they have Omega Fives. Okay, well, if I can steal those, so much the better. Um, yeah, they're already they're already pulled off, and we'll we'll, we'll make a go for that. Sure. Okay. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do is let the is finish it. You get a new round of industrialization in, um, growth and everything. We'll go ahead and let this council election go through, and you know, okay, no, you know, you you guys deserve it. This is our first one of the stock race challenge. We will get Orion, you know, with with the new with the new stuff, and we will um, we will conquer we will conquer Clack One. That's what that's what we're gonna do. That is the that is the plan, and we know we'll get that done next uh, next episode. So the next one will be the will be the last one. Okay, actually, you know that yeah, Mentar does need its shield. And good grief, too! How many factories in Mentar? Oh, the Cylons, are, <laughs> the Cylons are who we got that from. So of course they were full. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> that was a bit. That was a bit thick uh, of me. Well, just in the interest of getting, getting the up to par sooner, we'll do that. Okay. And actually, Mentar needs a needs a Stargate because that's what that because we want to be able to transfer stuff. And you don't need to build a Stargate on every planet. I mean, you can if you have nothing better to do. Um, but yeah, you just need to build them. Put them on on. Um, you know, useful uh, locations like this, and and uh, just have them bounce stuff over to strategic, you know, points. That's all you really need. Okay, plantology. Yep, yep. Oh, well, I should probably take the uh, take some stuff off my poor planets that I don't need industrializing fully. Uh, yeah, Furious is kind of a special case, but even even still, we'll uh, we'll do that. What about the deep? Deep does not need that many factories. 
But that means even ultra poor planet, I mean, look at that production. Even with only one third of it going in, we're still building bases and factories at a pretty respectable rate. And then Badlands was the other one. Okay. Excellent. So that'll help keep our keep our research coming along. And we're almost there already on soil enrichment. Okay. Man, Talus built those in no time. Did that Get there. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? I don't actually want a rhino. Um Yeah, let's go ahead and get a get a Yao Gwai and then we'll put it back on on a rhino duty. <laughs> rhino duty. Mentor got its shield. Let's go ahead and get once again two bases per turn until I'm comfortable. And I was already on Stargates. What am I even doing? And we'll do about half on Stargate, half on tech. Yep. As as we uh, as our planets finish, you know they're going to start. I mean, we'll be we'll probably be up to like six thousand RP a turn uh, as uh, as our planets finish up this round. And really, it's like this is the point. We are two robotics control robotics controls away from maximum. Uh, the most you can get is seven factories per per colonist, and we are at five. So yeah, we're at, we're at about you know, um, you know five out of seven, like seventy. You know, seventy something percent of of the theoretical best capa best um, production we could get in the entire game. All right, we should have the council vote this year, if I remember right. We're gonna have to abstain on this one because we're almost certainly gonna, gonna just gonna be uh, nominated. It's not that everybody loves us; everybody hates. Well, they, except they do, but everybody hates Clack One more. Wait a minute, Sediment. Oh, that changes things. Okay, well, well, well not act. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's 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 an hour. Uh, due to the like I said, the vicissitudes of, of RNG, um, Klaquan actually just voted for us. I think I think that's a sign of who of when your rival wants you to win, you take the win. So. In the year 2524, the council has chosen Grunk. You know, little, little known, little known name, little known secret. Grunk, short for uh, Grunkowski, because we caught everything they threw at us. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, of the Borathes is to be high master of the new republic. We do. And so it's our little, little uh, cinematic plays. Oh, we'll go and let it. We'll go and let it finish. I'll, uh, it's our first one, special occasion. That's the way it is. All right. So some concluding thoughts about that one. That was a very fun game. Um, obviously very different from Thoat's experience with the map and my first six experiences with the map. Uh, so next time we'll do the the failure reel. You know, um, I have most of the most of the saves. You know, still uh, kind of a losing position. Um, one of them I did take a screenshot with because it, it actually I actually lost before my first save. <laughs> um, so I'll talk a little bit about, about this map. I will put the map up for download on that next one uh, when we're done. And you all can take a stab at it. Let me know how your luck goes with it. It is a very RNG-heavy map. Uh, the, the, even the reason why, that we won on the turn we did was that Clack Wan had loved us so much for declaring war on his enemies, which he had which he had declared war on due to erratic probably uh, I know and, and also too is that in the Thoth's game he he went for speaker very early 
Whereas in our case, we kind of waited for the dust to settle because pretty much every war that started, started there. Um, like with the Alkari, they were actually, um, um, like they start off with an alliance with the, with the Clackons, I believe. I think, I think they, they, those two were allied and, uh, and they broke it and immediately went to war because they both had ships and they both had fleets at Spica. And of course, you know, when they, when the AI enters and leaves alliances, usually doesn't change much. Usually they'll just go right back in there. But because they were over planet, they both wanted the fleets fought each other. And that just repeated. And then eventually we ended up with it. And when you get some amazing Terran planets like we did, you know, Furious, Mershon Homeworld, Spica, uh, you know, as we call it the score, um, that, that's what got us, that's what got us the victory. We ended up with the best planets, which meant even though we had fewer planets than Silicoids did, we had, we had the, we had the biggest ones, you know, uh, not the best, but the biggest. And so we just flipped that over into the economy that let us get those battleships out, let us run roughshod over the gap and <laughs> let, let, let Grunk who run through the hole in the silicoid defense with their, their poor uh, missile bases. And uh, yeah, so if, if it looked easy, that's because I, I was a little lucky on uh, not getting screwed over in the first, you know, 100 turns. And I basically hit every enemy weakness without giving them a chance to do anything about it. You know, once once I got the ball rolling, it was constant offense and smashing through, um, you know, where the holes in the enemy tech tree, which we knew where they were because we kept spy pressure on them. And even just having some spies, you know, just poking around constantly, we got quite a few espionage hits, even though we were lower on computers for a good chunk of the game until we got, um, I think we traded for, I think we traded for Battle 6 and stole... We stole a jammer uh, and we got, we, we researched space scanner, you know, we, we, uh, we got a lot of computer tech in and asymmetric means and we, with, and with some research on our own too. So, so yeah, um, you know, not to, not to pat myself on the back, but you know, I played that uh, quite well, I, w I would think. And you know, it, um, it all worked out. So next up is going to be, like I said, the failure reel of this save and this, and this save for you to, for you to give it a try. And then we'll start on the Master of Orion 2 Bolrathi, which that may be a little delayed. I might start on, on another game too. Uh, you know, you have, have like, you know, not, not, not a really a break from this one, but you know, just something else to have, you know, to um, yeah, have something between my uploads here. And plus I need to get myself back in the groove of Mu 2. You know, it has been quite a while since I played it seriously. Uh, but yeah, that is, that's all coming up. So thank you. Uh, very much for watching. A lot of fun this first uh, playthrough. A little tip of the hat for uh, Comrade as a Reptiloid, right? You know, loyal commenter. I love I love comments. Love talking about these old games. Um, so feel free to do that as well. And uh, yeah, thanks again, folks. And take care. Till next time.